Hello there, this is Juan Abindi and today we will continue the camera tutorial part 2 for the pixel perfect camera but there won't be any coding because I saw how much that is and for real this is way too much. Um, if I would be doing this with programming with you guys it would be like taking one and a half hours or something like this. This is just way too long and so I just go over the code so you understand what's going on there. So what you have to apply there and the few variables you have to actually adapt to your game. And then th that's it. You just have like, I don't know, three or four variables you have to play around. The rest is just automatic. And so I show you what to do. And as you can see, um, the camera already works. We can uh, put a full screen. As you can see on the top left corner, it already auto detects our display. Then it resizes our window there and then it shows our cut of the level you want to show, basically our camera. And we can just go zoom in and zoom out. And we have, um, if we zoom out to zoom in too much, we just can go out of the room. And this is an option you don't want to give your um, players, because that would be silly to do, but what you can do if you like, I don't mind. So, this is the first thing we can do. And then, for example, if you say, okay, I want to do some more options, there's like an, a menu you can kick in and I will show you how this works as well. And this one has, again, an auto detection installed. So you press on it and it will just jump on the resolution which you're having. Or you can just do another one and, and it just jumps to another one. We have a different target on Enter, so and, and as well on uh, pressing enter on the menu so that's why it's just jumping between two targets so don't get confused by that well let's go into the code I just show you quickly how it works and then you can download it and then you can download uh, the whole thing on my patreon for free use it and abuse it as you as you wish so here are the most important values which you have to take care of the ideal width and height of of your camera. This is the cut you want to show. So basically just this little square, uh, rectangle or whatever. You just want to show that. And the other ones get pretty much automatically assigned. So how does it work? So first of all, what we do in the create event of our camera. We grab two values, which are the width and the height of our display. So what we do, we just grab those two values and just assign them to the window. So basically the window will be the full size of your display as well as the application service. And then we use again here um, the maximum pixel amount so we have the best image possible for those displays. Of course you can do that for a windowed approach which we do in the menu later. But for now we just go for a standard automatic detection, it just go full screen and you have no control or basically the the player which will be playing your game has no control over that. So first of all, what do we, what do we need um, for the game? We need our aspect ratio. If you've seen the video before, um, there are quite a few um, aspect ratios. And these ones we have to get from our display width and height. So these ones are just some uh, standard ones, but we do a very, very long, um, as you can see, lots of funky uh, display resolutions. They are just like really, really crazy ones, but these ones are the most important ones. These are just additional ones, so you don't run into a wall um, if you don't have your resolution uh, listed here. But this is just, I don't know, for a surface, and then we have an aspect ratio of three to two, so what, what, what is being done here? We just take the display width and the height and check if they are the ones which we just um, got. And if yes, we just assign our that, um, aspect ratio width and the aspect ratio height. And with these values, we can go over here because now we have to say, all right, if we have an aspect ratio of 16 to nine, what kind of ideal cut camera we want to have. For example, this is this is just an aspect ratio of 40 times. So 40 times 16 and 40 times 9 are these kind of values. And 40 times, for example, 
on this aspect ratio at least. So basically you just want to have a sort of approximation on what kind of cut you want to show for all those kinds of different aspect ratios. They are the most popular ones, even though this one is not very popular, but it exists. And we just assign our camera width and height depending on what kind of monitor the player is having. This is just useless. Um, once again, we need to do the alarm after we got our window size and your, our surface um, resized because um, GameMaker, after resizing uh, the window, needs one step so it can center into the screen. So what is happening? So we just go, okay, all right. After one step, after we resized it, we just center it. The other keys are for target swapping, which I didn't show you for now. For, I had this in the, the first video, but it was really too long, so I just cut it out. But what basically we're just having, we have like one basic target, which is our first object. And I just put it into a variable. And this variable is, uh, is being checked. Is it there? And the other variable should be checked too. And we just swapped it. It's just not O tank, it's just the target. And why is that important? Because for example, if we hit enter, we check are those two instances existing. So if we have one target, we just can swap to the other target. This is pretty useful. So um, because then you can swap to uh, two different points of the interest. For example, your player is like hitting a switch and then doors open. So maybe you just want to go with the camera to the door, which is just being opened. Then just scroll back to the player. This is a neat way, which a lot of games do. And then the other thing is a full screen toggle, which I already showed you. Um, here, what you saw uh, in the beginning is just reading out the display size, the window size, which are the same. And then of course the camera size, which is the cut or the zoom of the level. And we just assign them, we just grab the values manually and just show them on the screen. So you can see and do some debugging and testing if you like. So. The next thing is we wanted to do a zoom. So how do we do that? We just say, okay, all right, we are pressing a button like the um, keyboard up and down. And then we just increase the aspect ratio to our camera. So this is how it is. So for example, we, if we just press once the up button, we get 16 of width because our monitor is um, 16 to nine and 9 to height to our overall camera and if you have paid close attention to my last video i just assigned our view size in the create event because i want it to be static but now we just don't want our camera to move from left to right and and along the borders with a object to follow and also to resize our camera. This is what we do with our camera width. And here we just resize it as we want to maybe to do a zoom or something like this. This is how it works. Pretty easy, pretty standard stuff. It's not too complicated. And that is it. So how do we do the other thing, the menu? Well, this gives you a few more options. And if you go in here, um, there are a few things to consider. So basically it's just having a few things. The position is just referring to the position of the, the menu. So from 1 to 10 we have, um, if we press up and down, we just swap the position so we can sort of emulate a menu. And then it just goes and draws that menu. So as you can see, um, there are just a few resolution buttons they're just being drawn under each other and then if we are on a specific position we draw over that position the active button which is just a yellow one so this is how it works and then jesus um we just draw over them and for example if we do and this is how it works and then for example if you press press enter on it we do some action. The first one is uh, auto detection, which gets the same stuff like in the in the ca object camera thing, but 
for example, if you, if the object camera is doing some really stupid stuff, or you just do manually a very strange resolution, you could fix that here. So basically, what it is doing, it's again getting the display height and width. It's getting the aspect ratio with the script, but this is the stuff I showed you before. It's just comparing those aspect ratios and just returning the value so it can be stored in the aspect ratio height and width. So this is just another way how to do it. Then it says, all right, we have from our display our aspect ratios, and then, and depending on what kind of aspect ratio we have, we just go for our ideal width and height for the cut for the camera. This is what we do here. And then we just go for a resize and go for alarm so we can center the screen, uh, the window again. And basically it's just the same stuff. And for example, if we press on the other ones, we assign manually, and this is a little bit different, our window size and the application surface size. So this is just saying, okay, I just want to have a windowed version not the full screen. This is how you do that. It's just giving those kind of, it's just assigning all those values again, but here manually. This is just the same, the same, the same, same. No problem. And the last one is just a full screen. Let's see how this looks in practice. And don't be alarmed because if I press enter, it will swap to a different target, but the menu will stay on the same size. And for example, if you go for a smaller size, as you can see now, we have a display size still of our 16 by 9, but we have a well, this thing which is almost a 60 by 9. And then for example, you can scroll. That always, but it's looks a little bit squashed because it's not a perfect 60 by 9 as you can see it looks not too good but for example if we would go for our regular um, size it's nice and it's working this is how it works hopefully that was not too rambly and now you understand how this stuff works just play around use it if you have any questions just drop me a, a comment and I will try to help you out. That was it. Have a good one. One up indie.